Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, to, you had homework uh, with the supply and demand curve. We're going to add one little piece here. And if you've uh, done the homework correctly, you've done the hard part. You figured out the determinants, you made the right shift. I'm going to add one piece here. So, the first question on your homework dealt with Pepsi and Coke. You had to draw the market for Coke. Given a decrease in the price of Pepsi, Pepsi and Coke are substitutes. You could change one with the other. So, if Pepsi became less expensive. We would expect people to migrate away from Coke. They'd say, nah, nah, demand for Coke would shift to the left. What I want you to do is we're gonna make a market. The demand curve is our buyers. Somebody's missing here. Those would be the sellers of Coke, the suppliers. So you're gonna put your supply curve right on here. Like so, all right? And now you've created what we call equilibrium point. And these are gonna tell us about how the market's behaving and tell us what the price and the market quantity for uh, Coke are going to be here. Also, since now we're not just dealing with the demand curve, we've got the supply curve, make sure it's QDQS for your label. Go to where the original number one and number one curves met and make a little P1. Not over like I did, make a P1. Okay, that's the original price. Go to the second one. Original P2. What do you notice happens to the price here? It's gone down. So the price of Coke falls when the substitute's price falls. Okay, look at what happens to the quantity. Same thing. Go to D1, S1. That's your original quantity sold. Do the same thing. All right, so your quantity went down and your price went down. Same thing, come over here, you're going to do it, but you're going to add the demand curve. Because here we had a subsidy for coffee, that's a supply shifter. The subsidy is assistance, it helps you. So now, if you're a producer, you're on here, you need to get your buyers of coffee. Add your QD, and do the same thing here. I want you to pause the video though. I want you to do your P1, P2, Q1, Q2, and tell me what happens to the price and quantity. Pause the video, I'll wait a second. Okay, now I'm going to do it, see if you did the same thing. Alright, so S1, this is my B1, or the only B I have. So that's my original price. My new price, so price went down for coffee. Alright, look what happened to the quantity though. There's my Q1. There's my Q2. My quantity went up. There you go. If you know how to do that, you'll be uh, really set for next class. Make sure on all your homework problems, I want you to do this. Add this component to your homework problems, okay? All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day.